So you get a, I'm just throwing out a hypothetical. You get a new um, student in. Um, what's your first step in kind of approaching this new student? Hmm. Pretty much it's probably going to be little talking at all and more just observation. I may ask random questions about things that I may see just to see if they have awareness of where they're at. Like if I see a movement pattern, I'm like, okay, this swing is a left swing, a right-handed hitter. Their swing works off the ball. And I'm like, tell me the pitch you hit the best. And they're like, inside. I'm like, okay, good answer. You know, and I'm like, tell me the pitch is toughest for you. They say balls that move away. And I'm like, okay, well, that those are telling me things. Or I can see a major timing issue right away, and I'll ask, what's the toughest thing for you? And they said, I just struggle with being on time a lot. And I'm like, okay, what I'm seeing is confirmation. You know, because sometimes there's kids who their swing is saying it's holes in this area, and they think they're pretty good there. And then it gets a little tougher because you got to kind of get them to have some understanding. But first of all, I just observe. Mainly, I want to watch what the body's doing. Like, kind of what they do before, after you throw a pitch, and they start to get themselves moving to get ready for the next pitch. You know, those things in there are called balancing moves. Those are things that kind of usually will start to tell kids or tell me that, okay, this kid moves actually pretty good, but they don't know. And so sometimes it's just like an education piece. I'm like, you start a good move and then you stop. And then you put your foot down and swing. And I said, those things kill your rhythm. I said, why don't you try this? And I may adapt the drill based on what I see. But in the beginning, it's probably going to be a lot of questions and a lot of listening. Mm -hmm. How beneficial uh, have you seen that, th that dialogue and that exchange been for your students? For us, it's awesome. It's great because they realize right away that they're going to have a huge part to play in this. And we don't hold any punches or any info. Like, you're going to get every bit of info that I can give you and educate you in every single way about what you're doing. You will leave and say, you know what? Like, I have an understanding now of how I need to move to load. It may take time to get there, but you're going to have the info. It won't be one of those where I just don't feel like, I think a lot of times in instruction, that we as instructors hold almost like the power and the info too much. So there's always like, I need you, peace. And yeah. I try to break that wall down where there's no need. It's built around relationship. Yeah, it's more of a collaborative effort. 100%. So, So everybody's empowered. They got to get a part to play in this because they got to go in that box and hit, not me. Yeah. Yeah. And do you get a sense in the beginning uh, for, for students who may have not had that style of dialogue before that it's difficult for them to communicate? And over time, do you see an improvement? Yes, 100%. Sometimes mm -hmm. in the beginning, they really realize something is that They've been working somewhere for years and they literally have no idea of what they do and do not do. Like they don't see little things they do. They don't have understanding of anything. And it's really sad because it's like either, either they didn't pay attention or we didn't do a good job of explaining or we just told them how to hit or what to do. Like yeah. they don't know what they do well. Like, yeah. not at all. In all I mean, aspects, not really just shot. hitting. Yeah, hitting, oh. infield, pitching, outfield, everything. Right, and that should be the first thing to know. Like, how is this kid going to ever adjust in the game? How is she going to go in the game and be self-sufficient when she doesn't even know what she does at the time? Or why she's good when she catches ground balls? Mm -hmm. Like, good luck with that one. Yeah. And so – after a while with us, like the way they talk about their swing is way different. I'm like, hey, tell me how you load. And they're like, well, which part? And I'm like this. And they're like, oh, 
well, I gather this way, and then I kind of move this way because I did this or I did that. And it's pretty cool to hear because at least that way I can have some dialogue with them. If I'm not there, I can say, well, I'm having some timing issues. I'm like, are you starting on time? You know, like, are you getting loaded too much? You know, are you reaching back? And I'm like, maybe that's the case because my front arm's getting low. Because when I lilt add in my load, I pull with my arms. And so my arms get low and now I got no path but across. Right. You know, it could be something simple as that. You know, but I can have those dialogues with them because they, we, we have a mutual understanding of what their swing does. You know, it makes the communication piece really easy.